Today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2011 at 10.28 p.m. Um, so I got cleared by my doctor, um, my personal doctor, for the elevated, um, what's it called, uh, from a high cholesterol and something else. I forgot. It was three things. Um, but um, my, the true, true results um, called me and was like, um, we got everything except for clearance for um, the your liver enzymes. I think that's what she said. Elevated the liver enzymes, um, which um, I got taken care of today. Um, I went to my gastro, my liver doctor, <laughs> um, and I really didn't like the office. I had never been there. Um, my previous it's liver doctor was in um, San Antonio and he was such a hot doctor and nice too and I, I mean I didn't really care for the staff but he was pretty cool um, um, so he said that whatever it was that was elevated enzymes something um, that it wasn't as high as to be too concerned about um and then he like checked my stomach like this and he's like well your your liver isn't enlarged um but that he wanted to see a um an ultrasound and I hate those ultrasounds I got one before um of my liver and it was like at this weird ass I don't know it was in it was in San Antonio and um the person that took my ultrasound did it in the dark, and I don't know, it seemed kind of weird. I guess, like, they do do, um, they do do, they do, um, ultrasounds in the dark, but to me, it's kind of creepy. I don't know, kind of like, I don't know. And then, like, she had this serene music on, and I'm like, oh, I don't know about all that. Um, but yeah, and then he wants to... He wants me to get extra blood work so that he'll rule out hepatitis A, B, C, D, F, G, whatever, um, for my fatty liver. Um, but most likely, my I have a fatty liver because, or whatever, because I, you know, I'm overweight. Um, and he was telling me, "You're so young, da da da." I'm like, "I know, I'm young." I'm my body is not, it's failing me at the moment because I am overweight. Um, and then I told him, well, I want to, um, another reason that I'm here is because I want to get cleared for surgery. He's like, oh my God, congratulations, la la la. What are you getting, R and Y? And I'm like, no, I'm getting flat band. And he's like, good, good, good. That's great. Um. But yeah, it was cool. Um, so after that, I came home and I made this dessert to take to my friend's house, my friend Rebecca's house. Um, she was the first person I ever told about the lap band other than my family. Um, and so I have her in high regard. Um, she's awesome. I, I love her. Um, this is the first time I've ever gone to her house because she, um, she recently got a house and I just never went. Um, but it's so nice and her boyfriend is so nice and I told her, well, um, you're going to be my last meal. The place at, the meal at your place is going to be my last meal before my pre-op diet. He's like, oh my god, I feel the pressure. And then, um, Oh yeah, the dessert I made was this super duper fatty thing. I, I made uh, brownies, and then I put them like I put them in the dish, put brownies in it, and on top of that, I put um, chocolate pudding. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, and her what 
her um, boyfriend made was this Thai noodle beef broth that was freaking amazing. Oh my god. Where can I meet a guy that cooks like that? Whew. It was so good. Um, and very impressive, like, whoa. And she says that he cooks, like, you know, it's here. It's not in a cookbook or a recipe. And I'm like, that's badass. Um, but it, it was great. It was much... The meal was much better than anything I could have gotten at a restaurant. And I really appreciate her for doing that. It was awesome. Um, the only thing I didn't get to do, I guess, um, before pre-op diet is have um, woodchuck. It's the only, only beer, cider, whatever you want to call it, that I drink. I, I don't care for Coke or soft drinks, so I really won't miss it, but I like woodchuck, <laughs> and I was like, I gotta go on Monday, because I thought of it on Sunday, no, I thought of it on Saturday, but it was already like 8.40, um, so it's like, I gotta go on Monday to get some, and I didn't get to, because I guess I had other things on my mind, other than woodchuck, but ah, oh, man, I really wish I would have. Um, and if it were early enough, I probably would have gotten some <laughs> now. Um, so yeah, tomorrow is the start of my pre-op diet. And um, because I have to do it two weeks before surgery, and, and my surgery is on June 1st. Um, so I'm going to read you my pre-op diet instructions. So I have to replace two... Meals per day with a high-protein and low-carb liquid shake. Um, I can add frozen fruit, um, jello, or pudding. Um, and then one healthy meal, one in capital letters, lean meat, um, six ounces of chicken, fish, or lean beef, one cup of green vegetables, and one cup of fruit, no bananas. But yeah, I have to, I have to track it all, like I have to write it down, um, keep a food diary, diet, exercise, weight loss journal, um, and it says right here that I have to lose 7 to 8 pounds before surgery, um, and I'm pretty confident that I can lose, um, 7 to 10 pounds, um, I would hope that I would lose more than 7 to 10 pounds because, you know, I'm so used to eating such crap. Um, I eat, I mean, I gotta be honest, I eat horribly, um, and I eat a lot. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get here without doing that, you know. I had to stuff myself to get this way, you know. Um, so, my... Starting weight is 305 pounds, 0.6. Um, I'm kind of grateful that my weight hasn't changed since I got back from India in January. Um, because I, would, I was expecting like a big change um, in my weight. Because, like I said, I eat, I eat complete crap. Um, but um, that's how much I weigh, and that's how much I've weighed in a lot of different scales. I've gone to a lot of doctors in the past couple weeks, and that's all I, that's, in every place I weigh the same thing. Um, yeah. So I am excited that it, tomorrow will mark my two weeks, you know, like, in two weeks I will have surgery. Oh my god! two weeks. Um, I'm excited and scared at the same time, but yeah, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that's happening, and I'm two weeks of pre-op diet is nothing.